Hey everybody, it's me again here with a quick tip today to help you stay um, on top of your Zoom links and give yourself kind of easy access to those Zoom links. This is a great tip for both students and teachers and it's super easy to do. So uh, first thing is I'm assuming that you are in Google Chrome. If you're not using Google Chrome as your main browser, I highly recommend that you do that. You should definitely download and install that and sign in with your district Google account. It allows you to um, save your bookmarks, your extensions, and keep them synced all across uh, various computers. So it's definitely helpful to do in situations where you're sharing computers or you might be using a different computer at different times. So uh, anyway, that's my plug for Google Chrome. So assuming that you are in Google Chrome, I am in my in Google Chrome. I'm signed in with my NPS account. And what you notice here at the top of my browser is I have this bar here. I've got apps, I've got NPS tech links, and I've got some other um, buttons here. And all these buttons allow me to go to these various websites, they're bookmarks. So uh, you can create your own set of bookmarks called Zoom links, which I would recommend that you do. And here's what you're gonna do. First thing is you wanna make sure you can see this bookmarks bar. If you can't see that bookmarks bar, you're gonna click in the upper right hand corner on the menu um, button here and you're going to go to bookmarks and you're going to make sure that this button this is selected show bookmarks bar all right that should always be showing so you want to make sure that you have that selected so for me it is so that's good i also see all my bookmarks down here okay so my bookmarks bar is on now next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to right click in the bookmarks bar and i'm going to click add folder and i'm going to call this folder zoom links Save. Now you notice that it did not appear up here. That's because my window is not big enough um, to handle all of my folders and links and stuff like that. So I have more links here. I clicked on these two little arrows here. I'm going to move Zoom links over here so that it's easy for us to see. All right. So now I have my Zoom links folder, which is empty right now. So now what I'm going to do is for each of my classes, I'm going to find the Zoom link for those classes and I'm going to click and drag it into the Zoom links folder here. So watch what I'm going to do. Say I want to uh, use the link for my ELA um, block A class. All right. I go open up that class. I go to the classwork tab. I find the Zoom meeting. I'm going to click view material. And then you see that I have this button here for the, to launch the meeting. Normally you just click it and join the meeting and you're good to go. So you can still do that here. Or what you can do is just click and drag it up to Zoom links. So I'm gonna click and drag it right up to Zoom links. Okay, and then it's here. All right, now that's great, but that doesn't tell me too much information. So I need to make sure that I know that this is my link for my ELA Block A class. So I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna click edit, and I'm gonna call this ELA Block A. I already know it's a Zoom link because it's in the Zoom link folder, so I'm not going to add the word Zoom. Just keep it short. You can add the word Zoom if you want, but I'm not going to do that. So now under Zoom links, I have my ELA Block A tab um, link. And when I click that, it's going to bring me right to the link for Zoom. It's going to say open this meeting. I'm going to click open. It's going to open up in Zoom like I would normally join the meeting. Uh, that's the process that I would normally do to join the meeting anyway. Um, so you would just continue that process for all of your classes and put them in here. You can put them in the order that you want. Um, so once you have them uh, in here, you can click and drag them all to, to make them be in whatever order you want. That is my tip for the day. Shout out to Mr. Silvestri who suggested this is a great tip for our middle school students and staff. Uh, if you found that helpful or need any other help with EdTech issues, Zoom, Google, or otherwise, let me know. Happy to help at any time. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.